Hey, I'm Abe Frank Pearson. I'm a data scientist at Striveworks, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about a paper I presented on today in our journal club. So this is a paper that came out in 2016 called Understanding Deep Learning Requires Rethinking Generalization. And so it talked about uh, generalization and deep learning. So deep learning is a sort of uh, technique for training model modern machine learning architectures, um, or is a kind of modern machine learning architecture. And uh, so in the last 10 years, it's, deep learning has made uh, extraordinary strides on a, on a large number of tasks. For example, you know, image classification. So if I give you some pictures and ask you, is this a picture of a cat or a picture of a dog? These models can tell you which is which, and they can do lots more exciting stuff like identifying, you know, they can crop pictures of cars and images and do all sorts of amazing things. Um, so there's an open question, which is why do these models generalize so well to data that they haven't seen before. And a reasonable answer to this question, which I had assumed was correct, was that they are in some sense biased to learn true things about images. So, you know, if I try to teach you to recognize a cat or a dog in an image, I can give you 10,000 pictures of cats and dogs. But if you're really, really pedantic, you might say, well, I think an image has a cat if it's literally exactly one of the images you gave me. And then otherwise, I think it's a picture of a dog. And you know that will do perfectly well on the images you gave me, but it won't generalize to anything else. The amazing thing about, about deep learning is that you train models that actually generalize well. So this paper uh, took a, a plausible explanation for that phenomenon, which is that they're somehow biased to learn true features and, and challenged it significantly by pointing out that you can train these models on random labels of the existing images. So it's pretty hard to square this with the fact that these models actually do generalize well, if the reason they're generalizing is some sort of some sort of bias at this form. And so, so I explored a few plausible explanations of this. And one that I gave was that these, uh, if you train a model on, on random labels, it's true that you can have it predict exactly the, the, the correct random labels on the images you've given it. But now the model is very brittle in those predictions. So if you, you only have to perturb it a little bit before it gives totally different predictions. Whereas if you train one of these models on, on, true, on true data, you, you know, it's much more robust. So you can perturb the, the model by a lot more and you'll still get the same predictions. And uh, yeah, so that's a, it's only a, a sort of the beginning of an explanation, but it's, a, it's what I had for some a very surprising phenomenon.